Shadrack B1 here, fourth place, past the marathon. How does it feel? What are your thoughts on the result? I feel pretty good. You know, it was it was a good day. Uh, I'll be lying if I say was it a good day. You know what I mean? Um, fourth place in Boston is it's not it's not easy. It was a great race. Um, they did a good job. The course is pretty good. You gotta, you just have to run smart. Otherwise, it can bite you pretty bad. Yeah. So, yeah. What were your expectations coming in? My goal was to finish top five at least. You know, mimic what I did in New York or at least one spot uh, better than New York, which I did. Um, so that was my goal. I mean, I wasn't gonna deviate from that from the beginning. I know. Uh, on paper, you know, it was people couldn't believe it that it could happen. Uh, it was a deep field, you know, don't get me wrong. And so, but I believe in myself. I bet on myself. I knew that if I run smart, this is Boston. It doesn't matter if guys have run 202 or 203, 205, 20, it doesn't mean anything in Boston. You just have to run smart the last part and. Uh, which I did, and I pass a lot of people, and I keep crawling myself up and uh, finish fourth. Yeah, I mean, do you feel like the way the race played out with it being sort of there's eight to ten guys still in it when you go into sort of the hills, was was that a good, was that how you were hoping it would play out? Yeah, for me, I was just hoping that, okay, I knew the pace was pretty, pretty comfortable. It wasn't suicidal, but at some point, there was such going up the hills, and I just didn't want to have any part of that and so they'll drop me and then I'll close the back because I tried to run even as much as I could. Um, then the last part when you know Galen you know made a move and the other guy was just I wasn't comfortable with that. I knew it was still a long ways and um, I'm a realist guy. I don't just try to <laughs> just go with the flow. I know what my body is capable of, and I knew today if I run smart, I should be able to to finish it to five. So, what's your contract situation right now? Do you have a shoe contract? I don't have a shoe contract. Uh, Essex uh, didn't resign me for the, I don't know why, but I thought I did pretty good last year. Right. Yeah, uh, that was like the best year of your career. I mean, how were you frustrated that you know? I mean, it, it was disappointing, you know, for, for them to say, yeah, we're going to renew you, and then, um, you know, had me running around, and then at the end, they didn't, they decided not to. We, you know, it, it's okay, I still have my legs, and I'll still continue running, so, yeah. yeah. So they, they told you they were going to renew you, and they didn't? When, when that did was happen? the conversation. They said they were going to renew me, and uh, then... When was that? Uh, December, uh -huh. yeah. In December, they say, yeah, we will keep you, and then something went sideways. I guess in January, you know, it took a while to kind of get the real like uh, sense of what was going to happen because I was like, I need to know what's going on. Yeah. And then they said, um, you know, they have their own reason. I don't know why, but so do you expect you'll get some offers now after getting fourth in Boston today? I hope so. I mean, I uh, think I prove myself that I'm, you know, um, competitive in, you know, world majors, fifth and fourth today in a very deep field. You know, it's not, uh, it's pretty legit. So I hope, I hope um, something will come out of this. Would you be less inclined to, to sign with ASICs after they sort of reneged on that deal? Or if they came in with an offer, would you still be willing? Sure. I mean, uh, it's something I have to think about it, but I mean, if that's what's going gonna, gonna to happen, I mean, um, I was disappointed a little bit because we, we're all human beings. I, I would be lying if I say I wasn't disappointed, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, this is not to kind of like stab them in the back or anything, but I, I'm just, I'm a real guy. I tell it like it is. And I was disappointed, which any, I would think anybody would be disappointed, but if they come back, come back with, you know, an offer, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to, to listen and you know, talk to them because I, I love I love their product. I mean, they, they were great. They've been great to me for however many years I was with them. And did you wear 
wear that stuff today, or what were you racing at? I, yeah, I, I still wore their stuff, sure, you yeah. know, their shoes, you know, um, they have the good shoes, it works for me, so, um, if, uh, and also, you know, uh, I'm so thankful that I have a marathon guy, they've been, you know, this guy has been my only, my only, you know, sponsor since I graduated college. Yeah. Um, that moment, really. Yeah, I mean, he, he just had faith in me and just helped me as much as he could. And uh, I can never be thank, I, I can never be thankful enough for what Marathon Guide and John has done, done for me. Um, if you, you know, I mean, it's. He's a good man. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, look, I guess looking ahead, do you, do you think about world championships at all? Should I run that? Is it a full marathon, New York, Chicago? What, what are your plans going, going forward? I think I'm going to need to sit down, let, let this sink in a little bit. Uh, I know I have until the third year to declare for the world championship. If uh, I'm fifth, I think I'm in fifth place <coughs> in the descending order list. So two people have to decline. Okay. They do. Then I, then obviously I'd love to go and represent to, to USA. I think Rob might. I, I wouldn't expect him to run it. So that would be one guy. Yeah, that would be one guy. And then uh, you know I don't know what Neb is doing. I don't know what Jared is doing. I don't know what Abdi is doing. And um, Bobby, Bobby Cardis. So I mean, if 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 it works out that. I get an opportunity to go and represent Team USA, I'd love to do that. Alright, well, yeah. awesome run today. Thanks for the time. Thank you, guys.